it's Chester from Lincoln Park, and you're watching Rat TV. Hey there, it's Scott Edwards on a gorgeous day today with the Rat Van, the Rat, rat Pack behind me. It's going to be a rocking day with Lincoln Park going backstage with Heineken. We're going to be doing that in a few minutes, but first we've got to look for our meet and greet winners, you know? The Rat Rocks. Rat Rocks. Rat Rocks. Rat Rocks! Again? Rat Rocks. You're watching Rat TV. How, How are you? you? All right. What's your name? Jeff. From Marlboro. Jeff, you're our grand prize winner, man. Yeah, feels good. Hey, you psyched or <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah. All right. You, you know, you, this is going to be an opportunity for you really to ask questions to Lincoln Park. Mm -hmm. All right. So maybe w w give me one of your questions you're going to ask them. I'm going to ask them, you know, how they got started, what got them into it, and see what happens from there. It's good, you know, yeah. it's a good question because they got really the wrong kind of sound, you know. Check this out. We are at Lincoln Park. Okay. Project Revolution at the PNC Bank Arts Center. All right, we met up with our meet and greet winner, told them to come in a few minutes, about 20 minutes away. We're going to meet with uh, Keith, the record rep, and then he's going to bring us backstage to meet in person. Lincoln Park, pretty cool thing. Check this out. This is our Project Revolution bus that we found out in the parking lot here at the PNC Bank Arts Center. It's very cool, very cool. All right, we got our grand prize winner. Jeff, you ready to go, man? Yeah, we're ready to go. It's 5.57. We've got three minutes to get through security, get up the stairs, and meet our record rep, Keith. Looks you like ready? Got some things to do, then. All right, let's get going, man. Right. What's up, security guy? Hey, How you doing, man? Arms? I'm good. I got arms. All right. You're good. Next time, maybe he'll take me out for dinner first. All right, we got to walk over to this building over here on the right. we got to meet Keith, the record rep. And he, we'll wait for him to meet us. Are you Keith? I'm Keith. Keith, what's up, dude? Hey, I'm not Keith. You're not Keith? All right, get lost. <laughs> you guys do, no, good job. Rat, rat, rat. You like the rat? Thank, Thank you, man. No problem, man. Just put that on your wrist. There Is you that go. Your guess? Yeah. <laughs> put that on her wrist. Those are the passes to get backstage, I guess, right? Yeah, for the meet cool. and greet. Cool. I'm going to give, I have to give you guys yours, too. Cool. Guys, cool. Thanks, Lama. Have a good time. Great job, guys. Thank you. Hi, Ken on Rat TV. We're following Keith, the promotion guy. Walking us back there. Special privilege, guys. You know that. Yeah, so you can hang over here. Once we're done, we're going to come back here and then we'll do the meet and greet. Don't worry about it. So, you excited to meet them, dude, or what? Oh, definitely excited to meet them right now. Backstage, we're Rat TV with Heineken and Lincoln Park going up the spiral staircase. Very nice. This is Jeff, our grand yeah. prize winner. Congratulations. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Big, big time right now. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So I know he's got a few questions for you. Great. You know, if you don't mind. No, nope, yeah. of course not. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, I just got a couple questions. Now, good to see you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you too, bro. I, um, you know, I just wanted to know, like, how'd you guys get started? You know, what got you started? And, you know, like, where'd you guys, like, originate from? Uh, well, we we all started playing music like in different ways when we were all growing up. Um, I grew up in Phoenix, Arizona. The rest of the guys grew up in the Calabasas, Agora um, Hills area right. in Southern California. And uh, so, I'll give you a short rundown of how the other guys met. Mike and Mike and Brad have known each other since I think like late grade school, junior high. Okay, and then uh, they both went to the same high school together, and Brad was in a band with Rob, who went to another high school. And then um, they, you know, were all friends. And then uh, when they went to college, uh, Rob and Brad went to UCLA. Phoenix was Brad's roommate in the dorms. Mike went to Art Center and met Joe at Art Center, which is the art school in uh, um, Carl, Carl University, I guess. And then, uh, but they, they all were still, you know, running the same circle of friends, and they started playing, uh, they joined, Zero was the original name of this band, okay, yeah. started in 1996, like 1995, 1996. And then um, I grew up in Phoenix, and I was, started doing music when I was about 13, 14 years old, and I've been in bands ever since. I made my first record when I was 16. I made my second record when I was 18. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, it was just like, 
how you get into music, I don't, I don't know. I think it's just something that's in you, and like you want to, like you want to pursue it. The same way people want to like become, you know, teachers or yeah, doctors right, or right. something. You know, there's just something in everybody that compels them to do what they want to do. So, if I, if I can ask you one question. I mean, when you first get a band together, you have kind of a vision. Who was the one guy in the band who actually had the full vision of the sound you wanted to achieve? You know what I, mean? I think I think Mike is really the backbone of the of the you know sound of this band. Right. He's, he is uh, one of the most talented people I've ever met, if not the most talented person I've ever met. He um, he is an amazing songwriter. He you know, was really the kind of founder of what we did with Hybrid Theory and of the earlier stuff. And he's continued to grow and evolve, and Brad's a great songwriter. Um, you know, so I think, I think between the, those two, and then when I came in, you know, like the, it, everything kind of changed a little bit too. Right, so, yeah. um, you know, just, I think that's really the man with the vision. Very cool. So what was like the big turning point of your career? Like, where'd you get your big break at? <laughs> uh, well, we didn't really get any big breaks. <laughs> we we had a guy who worked um, at our publishing company. The band got got a publishing deal before I joined the group, and the guy who was at A and R at the publishing company. I'm doing an interview. Oh, sorry. Hi. I love you. <laughs> um, the the guy who was A and R at, at the publishing company um, was with us while we were doing our whole you know, trying to get signed thing, and right. uh, no one would sign us. And he finally got a job at Warner Brothers as senior vice president, head of A&R at Warner Brothers, and, and signed us when he got the job. Wow. So if it wasn't for him, we would have probably, you know, if he'd never gotten that job, you know, who knows? I mean, That's or if he'd gotten story, a job yeah. at any other label, we'd be with the, the other right. label. <laughs> so, you know, and then of course, you know, um, nowadays we get, you know, stopped by guys from like that used to work at Capitol or, or what? You know, I mean, name any major record company, and they're like, "Dude, we we knew we should have blah blah," and it's like, "Yeah, yeah, right." <laughs> and of course, the final after we say, "Well, we sent you the tape," you go, and everyone was systematically fired there. You know, <laughs> afterwards, it's just kind of funny, you know. So what would you be doing instead if you didn't land this job? Oh, good question. You know, that's a good. It's kind of funny because <laughs> this is what I've always done. I've been doing this for. Over 16 years, and saw it any other way then. yeah, I mean, so you you do have to pay the bills, and and right. you know if you're in a band that kind of doesn't seem to be going anywhere, you, you do end up making a choice. Like, if, it, do I go find another band, which is usually yes, but what am I going to do to pay my bills in the meantime? And you know most bands don't make enough money to pay their their bills at their house anyway, so they usually have a have a job or two, and then on all their spare time they go play gigs, and the gigs pay for all their gear. Yeah. And right. their, their rehearsal space and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'd still be doing this, and I'd probably mm -hmm. have some desk job at some title company or something lame like that. Cool. You have some big advice for maybe you know the teenager that's home and has a garage band right now about following their dreams. Well, I think it's important for no matter what you're doing, if if you have a dream that you should you should try to you know everything you can to make that happen. And you know, especially for like young songwriters and young musicians who are just not like, getting the bands, or maybe they have a band that's been around for a little while. You know, the most important thing is the songs, and and you know, it, it is important to play live shows and, and and all that stuff. But it's not what's the point if your songs suck, right? Absolutely. You know, so right. I mean, you can be you can be killer musicians with mediocre songs or worse, and you're never going to make it. Right. You know? Right. And if you you know if if you focus on the music first, you know. And, and you're confident that you have like really amazing stuff, then you can start playing gigs. That's cool. That's yeah. good advice. Yeah. Good advice. Yeah. All right, dude. Well, uh, you know, we're excited to be meeting you. You know, it was cool. a pleasure Thank sitting down with you. you. And I'm excited to sit down and see your show a little later on. Cool. We're backstage with Heineken on Rat TV with Lincoln Park. And Jeff, how was meeting Chester at Lincoln Park? Definitely a great experience. He's a real cool guy, you know, just glad I got the opportunity to meet him, you know? Well, you know the Rat Rocks, man, and we're glad to give you that opportunity. Definitely proud to be here.